Now we're going to look at some more problems. We're going to look at two. One will be a three mass pulley system and the other one's going to be having three masses tied in a row. So our first one is a pulley system with three masses on it. Here's our givens. Notice that mass three is six kilograms, mass one is only two. We're going to find the acceleration of the masses and the magnitude of tension in both of those strings. So now, which way will it move? It's going to move clockwise since mass three is heavier than mass one. Since there are three masses, this problem will be much easier to do as a system. Otherwise, if you separate out your free bodies and do it that way, you're going to have three equations. So we're going to take the easy way out and analyze as a system. Since there are two different strings, you are going to, here's one and here's the other one, you are going to have two values for your tension. So here's our free body diagram of the system. Notice that we've got our acceleration moving clockwise and that will denote our positive direction. Our F net is our FG3 minus our FG1 because our tensions cancel. Notice that the normal force and the force of gravity from mass two are in a different plane than the acceleration. So they don't fall into the net force equation. They just negate each other. So we're dealing as a system. So we have our system mass times our acceleration for our F net equals the sum of our forces, Fg3 minus Fg1, the forces in that plane of the acceleration. And then we isolate for our acceleration. Last but not least, we plug our numbers in. So now to find the tension. As always, the only way to find tension is to isolate a free body diagram. And it's probably easiest to isolate mass one to find tension one and mass three to find tension two. So here's our free body diagram for our mass one. Notice our acceleration, we still have to follow that clockwise direction. So our net force will be our positive tension one minus our force of gravity of mass one. And since it's an isolated free body, the net force is just that M1A. Then we can plug in our numbers and we have our tension in that first piece of string. Now we'll look at mass three to solve for the other tension. Notice our acceleration arrow is down because that is the way it was when we were defining it as clockwise positive. So our F net statement will be positive FG3 minus our force of tension two. We just simply solve for our tension. So that's how we analyze a three mass pulley system. Now let's do one more example in this video. We're going to take a look at three boxes tied in a row. And again, I'm going to ask you to find the acceleration and then the magnitude of the tensions between all the masses. We have mass one, mass two, mass three. Again, because I have three masses here, I'm going to solve it as one system to find my acceleration rather than have three separate equations. It just makes it simpler. And then last of all, we'll separate out the free bodies to find the tension. So here's the system. I've combined all the masses together. I've combined all the friction, the normal, and the force of gravity. So it simplifies it. Our F net is our system mass, and it's the sum of all forces on the right side here. So I've defined going to the right as positive, so it'll be FA subtracting off the force of the friction of the whole system. And then I isolate for A and I plug in my values. Now that we've solved it to find the acceleration, now we are going to have to separate out our free bodies to find the tensions. So here's mass one. Notice that there was, it was at the back end so there was only one piece of string attached to it. That is why we have FT1 here, and then pulling back is just the force of friction. So its net F net statement looks something like this, FT1 minus the force of friction. And we can isolate for FT1, plug in our mass one, 
and we get our tension in that string. Now, the next mass that we're going to isolate out is the one at the very front. And it actually has the string with the force applied of 30 newtons and the string pulling back to the second mass as well as our friction. So there's a little more involved on this mass. Again, our F net is the sum of all our forces, so it will be that force applied, subtract off the friction, subtract off the force of tension two. And since we're only dealing with mass three, that F net will be mass three times the acceleration. We plug in our numbers and we get our force of tension in that string as well. So that's the end of this video on our three mass pulley system and our boxes in a row.